Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Peace and joy of Jesus Christ be with you. Today we celebrate the celebrity of the great apostles, St. Peter and Paul. For our reflection, the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 to 19 is given to us. In today's Gospel, St. Peter proclaims his faith to, re to the response of Jesus' question, Whom do you say that I am? You have been with me for three years. You have witnessed so many miracles. You were with me when I cured the sick, cast out the demons. After seeing these, whom do you say I am? St. Peter, triggered with the Spirit, proclaims his faith. You are the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. It's a proclamation of the faith. It's a proclamation of the mystery that God had imbibed in him from the foundation of the world. The mystery is revealed through the lips of the poor fish, fisherman. Jesus is so happy hearing the words of St. Peter. Whenever some faith proclamation comes out of the people, immediately some gifts are given from the hands of God. In the same way, the proclamation of the faith of St. Peter demands, deserves the gift from the hands of God. Jesus praises him, you son of Jonah, it is not that because of some human intelligence you have proclaimed this faith, but rather it is by my father. By the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, you have proclaimed this faith. So, the Lord gives him the gift of primacy of St. Peter. He builds the church on the foundation of this rock's faith. Faith of St. Peter. From the generations to the end of the world, all the generations are going to receive the internal life of God from this faith of the fisherman. That is the celebration we have today. The second one we celebrate is Saint Paul, the Apostle of Gentile. He grew himself as a staunch Pharisee, wanted to destroy the Church of God. He had an encounter with the power of Jesus Christ. After experiencing the power, he turned to the Lord saying, the Old Testament Judaism finds his perfection in Jesus Christ throughout his life. He has the experience of Jesus Christ, speaking with Jesus Christ. He speaks, it is not 
I would live but Christ lives in me. It is the it is the spirit of the Christ that moves my mission. And he has given the model of missionary journey to the church. And finally today in gospel in his letter to Timothy I have fought till the end I have run the race till the end I have kept the faith There is to come now a crown of uprightness from the upright judge on the last day I am waiting Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus we celebrate today the faith of these two great men the great apostles we have received the faith of these two great men that is given to us the faith we are supposed to celebrate and experience this faith after experiencing this faith we must disseminate the values of this faith to our own brothers and sisters if the faith is not disseminated it becomes fruitless in our heart we have to experience the faith we have to disseminate the values let us thank the lord for this gift we'll pray thank you lord for having given us the gift of the faith of st peter and paul to us lord continue to bless us you have prayed for st peter that his faith may not fail pray for us lord you have guided st paul throughout his ministry guide us lord we are in a chaos situation we are with fear of the corona virus be with us lord the whole church prays as it had prayed when st peter was in jail the whole church prays lord strengthen our faith so that we may see you in our persecutions and tribulations in our problems in our crises be with us lord so that we may experience the faith and by the strength of the faith we may accept any kind of suffering that come on be another way we ask this through christ our lord amen